I'm Ruth. And I'm Brenton. Welcome to Spectrum today. We've got two great interviews. You're not going to want to miss out on that. How's That's your week true. starting out? Having a blessed week in the Lord. We pray you are too. And as we come into this time together, we pray it would be a blessing for you. You know, it's always a treat to be able to share together. And one of the ways that you can stay informed of what's going on here at Alpha Omega Broadcasting is to get on the mailing list. So pick up the phone right now and get on the mailing list. Call us at 505-884-8355, extension 101, and we'll get you connected. have with us today Janet Quintana Cook and she is with Cancer Services of New Mexico. Janet, thank you for coming by today. Thank you for having me. We are excited to have you and to learn a little bit about Cancer Services of New Mexico. But first, we'd like to learn about you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and then maybe how you got involved with Cancer Services of New Mexico. Great. Well, I am currently the program manager of Cancer Services of New Mexico. Um, and what I do is I put together our family cancer retreats. Um, I'm a native New Mexican, born and raised here. I'm also Native American, so um, it's I, I'm just honored to be here. And um, oh, I should also tell you, I have two lovely boys and um, my husband as well, and uh, we just love doing family activities together. Well, family, I think, as we get uh, as we move through life, becomes more and more important to all of us. You know, mm -hmm. we begin to realize the blessing that God has given to us in, in the form of our families. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about the uh, can Family Cancer Retreat. What is that? That's something I heard about last year, but for a lot of folks, it might be something new. So tell us about it. Oh yeah, absolutely. The Family Cancer Retreat is centered all around the family, um, a family who is coping with cancer. Okay. So um, what we do is we invite any patient in the state of New Mexico and they are able to come to our retreat and experience all kinds of fun things um, to also gain knowledge about their cancer, their cancer process. So um, we invite also the leading oncologists, radiologists, community partners, anybody that has anything to do with cancer. Um, and the families are able to just kind of go. It's like a one-stop shopping thing. Mm. They learn about um, all the different aspects of going through cancer um, and how to manage that process. Um, we have a great kids program, a teen program so, as well. So families can come. Oh it's yeah, not just the, absolutely. The, the person themselves. Absolutely. Okay. And the reason for that is because when a mom or a dad or a grandmother or an aunt has cancer, it's not just that person that has cancer, the whole entire family is brought into that process of caregiving, mm -hmm. of taking sure. care of the person sure. that has cancer. So um, that's why it's important for the kids to be there, so to I'm know that their parents, what their parents are experiencing are, is something that's normal, that there are other people, it's not just their parents. So the attendees would be mm -hmm. the person who is facing the cancer diagnosis mm -hmm. and their accompanying family members. Yes. Is that up to a certain number of people in per yes, family? Yes, that's right. It's up to three other, it could be friends, family members, okay. but three additional people. Okay. Well, one of the quick questions is how much does it cost? Because, you know, all these things <laughs> come to mind. And, and being treated for a disease of any kind sometimes gets expensive. That's right. That's right. Well, this is the fantastic thing, is that the retreat is totally free. We pay for the room, the board, um, all the activities. All they need to do is bring themselves and their family. Oh, so no cost at all to the person? None. How long does the, the retreat last? Is it like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing? Or? It starts on Friday and it runs through Sunday. So, okay, so it's yes. a weekend event. Yes. Well, when is the next cancer uh, family retreat coming up? Uh, and what in exactly is, uh, is you know, the date ranges and mm -hmm. all, of the, all the details? All the details. Well, um, the retreat is September 13th through the 15th. Okay. Of course, that's a Friday through a Sunday. Um, you get a hotel room. 
with, okay, so and that's out why. In the woods, it's yes, in, in the city. Or it's where? at the Albuquerque Pyramid on okay. Paseo and um, I-25. I and the reason why we kind of limit the number of people you can bring with you is because we give you one hotel room for free. Um, you have to be a current cancer patient in the state of New Mexico. Um, and um, uh, I think that's all the details. That does I it usually fill up pretty fast? It does. It really yeah, does. Because so. there are so many people, unfortunately, that are suffering with cancer in our state. So I would highly recommend that they get their application in as quickly as possible okay. um, to reserve their spot. All right, well, how do you do that? Where do you find information so that you can say, hey, you know, this sounds like something for me. I want to get, uh, you know, my, my mom to this, or I want to go myself, or I want to get dad to this and be a part of ha hopefully encouraging them in this journey. How do you find information? Well, first of all, we have our website, okay. which is cancer services nm, like New Mexico, mm -hmm. dot org. Um, they can also reach out to me by phone, and that my number is 288-0331. Okay, um, very good. And uh, we also have applications available at many of the clinics across the state. Has the uh, September event already begun to fill up? Yes, we are about halfway full, filled. Right. So I would recommend to get that in as so quickly as possible. It's timely. It's important to yes. get on top of this right away. Information, contact information is, is on the screen as well. So make sure to, to look at that. Why don't you, Janet, give us just an idea of maybe something that's a high point of this event that you've observed. Uh, that, because is it all hearing from speakers or is there fun things to do? Oh, no. Um, I've it, always found that. <laughs> Hearing from speakers is not always a fun thing to do all day long. Mm -hmm. So tell us about yeah. other other things. No, to do. <laughs> no, we have so many fun things to do. From the moment they walk into the doors, many of our families feel kind of trepidatious about what the experience sure. is going to be like for the weekend. Um, but that first night on Friday night, it's all about fun activities, getting to know you, icebreakers, meeting those other families that are going through the same thing that they're going through. Um, Saturday is more about the educational aspect um, and what they can do to learn. But that's not only to say that's all they're going to be doing, because later in the day we have yoga sessions, we have um, art and movement sessions, all different kinds of things that even their children, once they're out of the kids program, can come and join their parents. What does the kids or teens programs look like? Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. The kids, it's a little bit more about having fun, fun activities. We have therapy dogs that come in. There's jumpers. There's, I mean, they, they have a blast. The kids absolutely have a blast. The teens, we focus more on the emotional issues mm. that they are experiencing with a parent with cancer. So we help them normalize their feelings about what worry, anger, sadness, and to not internalize or to um, act out on those feelings, but to do something that um, encourages healthy behavior around a parent that has cancer. Because if uh, that teen, I suppose, has added stresses, that, that would, could really compound the problems oh, of the person that, that, when they're, that's struggling against the disease has. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, because as you know, kids in school, teens especially, you know, you have all those extra stresses that kind of build up on top of you. And to have a sick parent, that's just another thing that just complicates the issue. Sure and we does. just help them overcome and discover yeah. new ways to deal it with sure it. sure does. Do you ever have businesses or uh, families who sponsor people to this event? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or is we it do. something that's just, how, how is it funded? Yeah, we do, but we do need the help from so many people across our state. Um, we currently ha uh, get our money through government grants, okay. um, and there are several businesses that do sponsor us as well, but we do have an opportunity for individuals to sponsor a family oh, at great. the retreat. So you would sponsor a family of four, um, and that donation in itself is such a blessing to us oh, that sure we is. can um, help a family reach out to the resources they need. Because as um, anybody knows, whenever you get sick, sometimes you go to the internet and you Google something and the information you get back is beyond scary. Can you imagine what that would be like for a cancer patient? So we kind of, at the retreat, have those resources available that are positive, that are, um, that are 
informational that are approved by the doctors here in our state and that it's not something that you're going to get back scary information. Um, it's it's. I have good found that Googling a disease is probably one of the worst things you uh, can do. Don't. Please <laughs> don't. Please don't do, do it. All you do is fill your mind with fear. <laughs> and you're like, wow. Yeah. Is that what I have? <laughs> I hope not. It says it's rare. Is it me? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, no, no. Right. Please don't go there. Please don't. Come to our retreat <laughs> if you have like cancer. Sounds like a much better option. Yes. A much better option. All right. Give yes. us the web address one more time, if yes. you would, Janet. Yes. Okay. That is cancerservicesnm.org. And then one more time on the dates of the retreat. They're coming in September. That is September 13th through the 15th. All right. Great information provided for us today by the folks from Cancer Services of New Mexico. And uh, certainly would encourage you to either, if you can, help out in sponsoring a family, or if you're a family in need, definitely get involved with the registration and, and, and application process right away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Today we want to mention to you something very exciting that's coming up and it's about five weeks away. We have the second annual Alpha Omega Golf Tournament. Yes. This year an 18 hole instead of a nine. We've already got oh people signing up, getting getting plugged in. Uh, we've got a lot of corporate How sponsors. How long is that going to take? Year. What, 18 holes? Yeah. It takes about four hours, four, four and a half hours. Is it best ball? Is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, it's shotgun start, okay. so that means that you start at different holes and best ball typically okay. in a tournament. That's my kind of playing golf. And we'll have a, I it'll start help. it early in the morning. <laughs> we all need help. Yeah, it starts in the morning and uh, then you get lunch and then okay, cool. all sorts of fun things as a part Some of the day. So, like, the, oh, and you know what we're going to have this year? It looks like we're going to have a $25,000 hole if you can make what? a hole in one at that hole. And there's some other prizes. Who's going to be I, there spotting that? We'll have have um, oh, we'll with, figure that out. I think we've got, we've got people. That are ready to lined go. Up. So cool. he, here's how you get involved. If you'd like to be able to play, it's I believe $85 to play. I thought it was $80. Okay, $80, $85. They can clarify for you when you call in. Call us at 505-884-8355. We can send you one of the registration forms. And uh, it's going to be good. We're looking forward to having a lot of fun at the second annual Alpha Omega Golf Tournament. That helps to raise funds for us on projects that we're engaged in, of course, regular operations, but mostly for upgrades right. and for things that we need in special projects. Be sure and visit us on our website at kazq32.org. I believe there's information there. There's also information to support Alpha Omega Broadcasting on the website. You can call into the station, 505-884-8355, extension 101 for information as well or for donation. Send in your check, prayer request, your money orders to the station here at 4501 Montgomery Boulevard Northeast, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87109. To have with us back today, Dr. Fume Atchison, who is the founder and leader of the Family Centered Prayer Bible Ministry. Battle, Battle. Battle, Battle Ministry. Battle Ministry. Yes. Get it? Let's get it right, right from the beginning. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you for sharing with us today. We're glad you're back. It's been a little while. I know. Thank you for inviting me back and having me today. I'm yes. excited the for the upcoming event we are going to have. Yes. Well, it's always wonderful to learn and to remind people a little bit about yourself and about the ministry, because some of the friends today may not have seen you the last time you were here. So tell us a little bit about yourself today and, uh, and how, you're, how you got involved in ministry and where the ministry has grown over the last several years. 
Thank you very much for your question. Uh, my name is Dr. Ifi Atchison. Uh, the doctor comes from I'm a FAMD, and right now I just graduated from uh, with master's in public health concentration in nutrition from Liberty University. It's a Christian university, mm -hmm. so I thank God for that. Amen. And believe Praise it or God. not, by the grace of God, I will have opportunity to present and make my case about hydration to the uh, New Mexico aging population. It will be coming second week in August in uh, out there in uh, Sandia Casino. So. My project right now that I'm working on, <laughs> apart from my ministry, is the hydration literacy education because we really yeah. need to hydrate and hydrate and hydrate. So yes. back to the ministry yes. and how I come to this place is this. Um, this ministry started way back in my house and um, it actually started with three women. Uh, after I lost my brother in a motor accident with the wife, I was like broken to pieces. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what to do but to call on to my Lord. So we started that ministry in my house. At the time we moved from my house and um, we went to a um, community center where we hold it every Friday and we pray. And the main purpose of this ministry is to pray the word of God back Amen. to him. Because mm -hmm. we know that when Jesus answered <laughs> the enemy, all he said is it's written. He doesn't yes. even have to sweat it. All he said that it is yes. written. And when you pray the word of God back to God, mm -hmm. the enemy has nothing to accuse you of because you are praying the word of God. Amen. So that is what we are doing. And, um, um, and we have grown over the years and God has answered our prayers. And uh, we actually stay at, um, we always stay at um, 7221 Camel Road. Not East Albuquerque, 87113. Okay, wonderful. Well, you have a seminar coming up, I yes, believe, in July. Tell us about that. Okay. It's coming up quickly. Yeah, the seminar is actually at the end of the week. Um, it is um, July the 27th, which is Saturday, and which is very good because this is a quick reminder. If you have not made up your mind to come, please, I'm asking you, come. We are going to hear a lot. The topic of our seminar is to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a perilous time. And uh, mm -hmm. being an overcomer, you might wonder, why do we want to know about being an overcomer? As I said, it's a perilous time. Mm -hmm. And we want to learn everything about how we are going to be an overcomer. So I invite you and your friends and your family to come. So mm -hmm. talk, Doctor, talk to us just a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of topics that you could have chosen to have the seminar on. I mean, I'm sure there's a, there's a range of things dealing in the area of prayer. What was it that made you say, we want to talk about being an overcomer? Because I think that that's an interesting thought. Okay, um, being an overcomer, as I said, uh, this is a perilous time. Mm -hmm. And the perilous time is the time full of danger. The time, risky time and hazardous time. And when we look at this time and what is happening every day, I won't even go there. But what I will say is if you really, really want to be depressed, turn on your TV. <laughs> Very That's quickly. That's <laughs> turn on your TV. So I want, um, I want us to look at, just allow me to indulge in reading some Bible verses. Oh, Absolutely. Sure. Because Share the key us. of what we do is reading the Bible. Yeah. So I want us to indulge in reading 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. And we'll see why. He said, but mark this. What are we going to mark? The mm. perilous time. What is happening? He said, there will be terrible times in mm. the last days. Are we having terrible times? Yes. I think you When you find out the answer, let me know. <laughs> Verse 2. People will be lovers of themselves, mm -hmm. lovers of money, mm -hmm. boastful, yes. proud, yes. abusive, disobedient to their parents. Do we have disobedient kids? Oh, yes. When you find out, you let me know. Yeah. Ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, mm -hmm. slanderous, without self-control. Mm -hmm. We remember that self-control mm -hmm. is one of the fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So at this time, there is no self-control. Yeah. Everybody does what is right in their eyes. And honey, guess what? It's okay, do it. But not really exactly what the Bible say. Mm -hmm. And they continue to say, there will be brut brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God. Mm -hmm. Have, having a form of godliness, but denying its power. 
How mm. do you feel about it? Mm. Having a, false, uh, uh, a form, form of godliness. godliness, but denying his power. Hallelujah, amen. Is that hallelujah actually from your heart? Mm. That is the point. Or are you a Sunday, Sunday medicine? What I call a Sunday, Sunday medicine is a Christian that don't behave like the Bereans. They don't go back to check anything. It's just what they hear in the pulpit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, what I owe my pastor, and I say it every time, is to pray for my pastor and mm -hmm. cover him. Because he's the target. Remember, he's still, mm -hmm. he's still a human being. So mm -hmm. that's what we owe them. We are not there to just yes. go, yes. look at them, I find out what the wife is wearing and how the hairstyle is this or mm -hmm. this and that. Mm -hmm. Those are, we are living in, still living in flesh. It's yeah. none of our business. That's all we owe them. But then we pray for them so that they didn't fall because they are the target. So mm -hmm. don't go and be looking at, okay, what do you yeah. think about the preaching this Sunday? Right. Do you know? No. If you have anything, go back to your pastor. Make appointment. Talk with him. I believe sincerely that they will listen to you. It's mm -hmm. not time to go and start putting anybody down. If you are a child of God, be a child of God. Amen. Whatever you say you be, be it. Mm -hmm. Let us see it. And he said, what did the Bible say about all these things? He said, have, have nothing to do with them. Mm -hmm. So we are being told today to have nothing to be with them. This is perilous time and it's time for us to come together and know one, who is an overcomer? Mm -hmm. Two, how do we become one? Yeah. Three, how do we maintain it if we become an overcomer? And three, the Bible said a lot of things about the prize you will get at the end of the day yeah. if you become an overcomer. Amen? Amen. Amen. Please come and uh, join us in this seminar. It's very important that you come so that this race, we will run this race together and yes. we'll win and we'll get yes. the prize together. Yes. Amen? Amen? That's good. good. That's good. Is that going to be an all-day event? It's not going to be all-day event. Thank you so much, man, yeah. for asking. We are going to start from 11 a.m. and end like 1.30. We oh, are okay. just want people to yes. sleep in and come in during lunch, and we just oh, have first. the lunch together on the Word of God. Okay. First and there will God. be a slight um, snacks. Oh, okay. Yes. Wonderful. So give the uh, directions again. This is on Karma. Uh, Carmel, and that's uh, basically right off of the Paseo area, Paseo in Wyoming. Yes, sir. Uh, and if you know where the Domingo Baca, North Domingo Baca Park is, it's kind of adjacent to that area. Yes. Kind of a, a, a nice area, beautiful uh, community center there, and you'll be in one of the rooms that they have set aside for you. Yes. Okay. Actually, we are going to be in room six. All right. Six. So that's coming up this coming Saturday, July the 27th. That is really just a few days away. If somebody's watching today and they say, you know, th this really sounds interesting. I mm -hmm. I'd like to know more. How can folks get in touch with you? And then maybe you could, yeah, do you have to register to come? How do, how do people know? How do you, how do you know who's coming? Um, actually, the God has been so gracious because uh, what you receive freely, you give freely. And uh, you remember how a party was thrown and people were invited to come and everybody just got their bag of excuse. I got a wife, I have a land, I have this, I have that. And the end of the day, that party that was meant for people that you have in mind, they never showed up. Yeah. The people that showed up is the people that wasn't actually invited. So God will make a way and people will come and God has always surprised us. So you don't have to register. <laughs> we believe that the Holy Spirit will get you there. Amen. And most of the time, believe it or not, it's not even the people that were invited that mm -hmm. filled the place, but all and most of the time the place is filled. We don't have Praise a share left. So we want you to come. Be among those that will enjoy it. If you are invited, this is a reminder. Please come and enjoy the word of God yes. and know how to maintain if you are an overcomer. And if you feel that you are being swallowed up by problem, mm. come. I still have a God that works because Amen. my God has always works. He's on time. So yes. come, we will find out how to be an overcomer, maintain it, and win that prize because Amen. it's important. Thank Amen. you. Dr. Ify's talking to us about the Family Centered Prayer bat Battle Ministry, and that has their meeting this coming Saturday, July the 27th. Make sure to find out more information from the screen. And hopefully you can attend.
Today, let's go to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs <laughs> chapter number 10. There's so many great things that can be found in the book of Proverbs. And, you know, let's just read it verse by verse. Let's read verse 21 and, and maybe uh, we'll go further as we can. Uh, do you want to start us off with the read? Verse 21. Sure. The, word, the words of the godly encourage many, but fools are destroyed by a lack of common sense. You know, I thought about that. We were talking about this in one of our devotion times earlier today, about how we have a lot of people in the world who's, who's uh, what they would say is they have sense mm. uh, based on a human perspective. But you know, our human perspective without God's wisdom given to us creates a lot of folly. We Just watched last thing. night a video clip of people, I believe, in New York City. I think it was in the Bronx. Um, but they were dumping mm. water and spraying the police with water. And, you know, they say that the reason that they're, they, they won't do anything about it is because their mayor refuses to really defend the police department. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens? We end up with a lot of folly. The words of the godly encourage many. But fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. When we do things our way, boy, we create problems. Anyway, so next read, verse says. Uh, 22, it says, The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he has no sorrow with it. I you know, love so that. Sometimes in life, we can pursue financial blessing, but what happens at the end of the day is we find ourselves filled with sorrow because of sometimes people compromise. Well, because you're, you're trying to get to the top of that ladder, stepping on whoever it takes to get there. Mm. And so many times with that comes sorrow for what you've done. And sometimes you can't do anything about that. You can't go back and redo that. The damage has been done. Verse 23, doing wrong is fun for a fool, but living wisely brings pleasure to the sensible. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, have you ever known somebody who just pursues foolishness and they think it's fun. Mm -hmm. They think it's all oh, living, living crazy, doing wild things. But you know, in the end, of course, that brings pain. It brings hardship. It brings sometimes death, but living wisely brings pleasure to the sensible. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to somebody who knows the principles of Amen. God to follow them. You know, we could go on and on in the book of Proverbs, but we probably don't have time. But I would invite you, spend time reading a proverb a day. You know, if you read one proverb a day, Ruth, you can along make it with through. What, along also with what you're reading, your regular devotion, that would be great. But if, you, if you're if you starting out, that's that's a great Pro suggestion. Proverb a day, you can make it all the way through the book of Proverbs in a month. Be blessed today. Thanks for joining us.